So I'm going to start by moisturizing my face and I am using the Dual Action Moisturizer by Clean and Clear. I'm just going to put a few bumps on my hand and then apply this all over my face. On the back of my hand, I'm going to mix Maybelline's 210 Fit Me Foundation and 120 and mix it on the back of my hand and then use an Eagle Tools buffing brush and apply my foundation to my face. Taking a small eyeshadow brush, or a concealer brush, whatever you want to call it, I'm taking um, a lighter concealer than my skin tone, skin tone um, and putting this under my eyes to highlight under my eyes and cover up any under eye circles. I happen to be using the NYC Cover Stick Corrector anti serums in the color light. It looks just like this, and this is the brush once again. I'm just going to apply this under my eyes in a triangle and then blend it out. Now taking a larger concealer brush and my Sony Kashuk all covered up concealer in ivory. I'm going to cover up any blemishes I have and then blend them out. Blend the concealer out. Now I'm just going to take my spoolie and just brush my eyebrows out. Now taking a large fluffy brush and my uh, Maybelline Dream Out powder and mine is in beige medium 2.5. I'm just going to apply this all over my face to set everything. Now taking a angled brush and my NYC Smoothing Skin Bronzer in Sunny, which is a matte bronzer, I'm just going to um, apply bronzer to the hollows of my cheekbones, um, my temples, around my hairline, and under my chin and the sides of my nose. taking my fluffy brush once again and just make sure everything is blended together and there's no harsh lines. Now I'm taking just a domed fluffy brush and I'm using the um, Elf Contouring Blush and Bronzer in St. Lucia. I'm just taking the blush in this palette and applying it to the outer apples of my cheeks. To finish off my face, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Reserve Your Cabana as a highlight. I'm going to take a um, normal foundation brush. I'm going to highlight my cupid's bow, the bridge of my nose, and the highest points of my cheek. I'm going to again take my uh, powder brush and just make sure everything is blended in.
Now for my eyes, I'm going to be using um, every shadow from the Naked palette. At this moment, I might change my mind through it. I'm going to start by just taking my primer potion or a primer and priming my eyelids to my brow bone. Start by just taking a flat shader brush and naked and if you want to recreate this look and you don't have the naked palette it is just a skin coat stick it's just a few shades lighter than my skin tone it helps neutralize my lit out lid so if you want to create this look you don't have this just use a light matte brown color very very light almost skin tone and I'm just going to take that color and apply it to my eyelids On a pencil brush or just a very um, tightly packed blending brush, I'm taking the other matte color in this palette, which is Bucked Buck, which is just a, again, if you don't have this palette, it's just a deeper, kind of rusticy red brown color. And I'm just going to take that on my brush and apply this directly into my crease. Really concentrating in there. Don't worry about blending it out because we're going to do that later on. If you kind of just look a little scary, I feel like it looks scary if you don't blend this out. I'm just taking a very fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to blend upward. I think I'm going to stick inside this palette again. And I'm going to take this like um, pinky color and it's called Toasted. And I don't really know how to describe this if you're using, if you want to create this exact look. But it's just like a very deep purpley pink color with tons of shimmer. And I'm just going to take that on like a very tiny angled brush like this. And this can, that can be any color if you're recreating to match a certain outfit. I'm just going to take that and apply it to my lower lash line. I'm also going to take that same color and apply it to the outer corner just to blend the color up and in. Just connecting, oops, just connecting that color and bring it up and in. I'm just taking a very short dome brush. You can't see it because it's black. And I'm just taking a highlight color and I'm going to be using Virgin in here, which is an off white kind of with a little pink in it and very pearly. It has a pearl finish, I would have to say. I'm going to begin first by um, highlighting the inner corners of my eyelid and kind of bringing it in a little bit and then just blend that onto the lid. You can also take it under. And do the same to the other eye. I'm also going to take that same color and I'm going to highlight my brow bone a little bit. Now I'm going to do this off camera because it's just really simple. Just line your, um, line your lash line with any kind of eyeliner. I happen to be using the e.l.f. cream eyeliner and as soon as I do that I'll get right back on camera. I'm also just going to apply my mascara off camera too because it just it takes too long and it's just a waste. So I'll talk to you guys as soon as that's done. And this is the finished makeup I am doing. Let me just zoom in my eyes. 
Um, if you guys want a mascara routine, I will definitely do that. Like, comment down below. Um, foundation routine, anything. I, this is weird. They're, like, really close. But... Simple eyeliner, you can flick it out or whatever. I kind of wanted to go kind of toned down because it's I'm wearing a white dress, which you'll probably see. I'm actually going to zoom you out. Alright, um, there's that. Uh, and um, I'm just going to straighten my hair and then we'll... I'm going to show you how I'm out, but I'm going to straighten it real quick. So... Um, Alright, now that my hair is straightened, we need to do something about it, because it's not going to stay nice. So I'm going to be using just a white clip bow and a few bobby pins to do what I'm going to do. So, <clears throat> my straightener is still on just in case, I need it. I'm going to take the front section of my hair, oops, right here, and I'm going to make sure I have all my bangs in it. Okay. And then I'm just going to make sure that looks good, and then I'm just going to twist it. I pin it to the back using several bobby pins probably. I'm just gonna do one side, but you could do the other side. But now I'm just gonna take my bow. That's it. That is my finished makeup and hair. And when I do get dressed, I will film it and edit. 